I miss David Bowie. I was thinking about it today, uh, just watching his videos on YouTube and remembering how awesome the guy was. I mean, what an artist, you know? And he worked so hard, even right up to the last days of his life. He was truly an inspiration. I never cried over celebrity deaths. I think back to the ones that, that impacted me the most, and it's like, I was 16 when Kurt Cobain shot himself, and I remember how it affected uh, others around me, my friends, other kids at school, and it certainly hurt me, but I didn't cry. I cried for David Bowie. God, I wish I could have met him. To shake his hand and, and tell him what he meant to me. I hope he knew, you know, at the end. I hope he really knew how much he mattered to so many people. I... I don't make these videos to try to inspire anyone. And I feel that people who do set out to inspire others, they can be a little disingenuous, you know? Like, like their motivations are a little bit self-centered. I'm, I'm making these videos because I, I'm afraid I'm gonna die and I want there to be a record of, of my life. I want there to be proof that I was a person who existed and, and, you know, with thoughts and feelings and, and ideas. But some people have been responding to these videos and, and they've been saying some very nice things and very encouraging things. And it's, it's genuinely nice to know that I'm having a positive impact on people. Um, I'm, I'm not trying to be some internet celebrity. I don't want to be an internet celebrity. I think that's just, it's not appealing to me. But, but it's good, you know, that my voice is reaching people and, and in a good way. And who knows? I mean, you, you say something that resonates with others and it, it has a, a way of growing on its own. It matters, you know? What people think and what they feel and what they say to others, it, it matters. It's this tapestry that we weave together. It, everybody has threads of their own that we put into it. and. And the picture we make from it is so much bigger than ourselves. It really matters. I wish people thought harder about the words that, that they put out there. And I'm not naive enough to think that we could all just get along forever and always. I, I, I don't think that that's necessarily possible. I, Conflict is inevitable, and certainly different ideologies clash, and, and, you know, people are people. But it's just, if we could just try harder to give others the benefit of the doubt, to see things from other people's points of view. And to say what's in our hearts and minds, but, but in a way that it doesn't have to, to dig into each other. You can be insightful and wise without using it as a blunt instrument to bash over the heads of people you disagree with. I want to be more like that. I want to be more like 
the ideal that I have in my head. You know, I was talking with a friend uh, earlier tonight, just about different philosophies, and um, we have these great conversations about uh, uh, about uh, um, philosophy and and belief and faith. Um, Hers from a, a, a somewhat spiritual point of view, mine from a, a secular point of view, but but that's good though, you know, to have different points of view, and 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 we talk about you know <clears throat> um, what it means to believe in things and to have faith in things, and and people who don't believe in the supernatural can still have faith. I have faith. I have faith in humanity. I have faith in. My friends and family, uh, I, I think we are genuinely a good species. We do bad things. <laughs> we do bad things. But I think it was Patton Oswalt who said that if we were truly evil, we would have destroyed ourselves ages ago. And I have to agree, we, 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 we've progressed so far. I don't believe that we are doomed to failure. I honestly think that we have it within ourselves to be better, to do better. And I know it's so easy, especially in the wake of something terrible, to write us off as, as evil. It feels like a blood stain that just won't wash out. But we have to remember that we have, in the past, washed it out. There have been successes, victories. We, we've triumphed over terrible evils in the past. We need to remember those. We need to champion those victories and praise the heroes that would not let that evil win. I guess it's just, it feels like a losing battle because evil always finds a way to slip free of our grasp and go somewhere else and, and, and try to, you know, find a new way to make us suffer. But, but the victories are there and they matter. And I think in, in the darkest times we need to look back on all the good that we've accomplished as a species and remember that we've got this. We can, we, we can succeed. In our darkest times when it seems like evil's gonna win, we need to remember the evil is a coward and we've got it on the run. Anyway, um, I'll update soon. Uh, I um, pro probably won't be updating for a, a few days, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll update when I can. Uh, wow, this video got longer than I was <laughs> kind of planning on, but you know. Anyway, uh, yeah. See you next time.